this course interested me as a revenue officer because matters of transparency are very important in taxation, especially when we're doing cross-border transactions. I really wanted to see what is there in other jurisdictions, what is there in practice over the world, if it could be different from what we have in our revenue authority. The broader sense of what it means, because our approach to um, asking for openness and asking for you know uh, public information around taxation uh, has been very limited and so I wanted some more exposure as to how transparency actually works so that that, that can inform our, our campaigns but also how we report on those, those things. I was impressed to learn that there is not only a, a lot to do in terms of, of transparency that meaning making information available but that there are huge challenges as well in raising that information. It gives a clearer picture of the role that we can all play from different uh, places, from our different stands. The issue of extractive industries, uh, my country uh, is just, uh, has just discovered oil, so I, I was very, very excited to find out that there were experts here who have details on, um, on how uh, multinational companies do uh, uh, profit shifting. So I take back home some expertise uh, on the issue of, uh, uh, of uh, base erosion by multinational companies and transitional companies. Um, the course looked really interesting, it's really relevant to the work I'm doing over at DFID. Um, it attaches a really important agenda in terms of sustainable financing, so it's going to be really interesting to get have kind of words and terminology to be able to engage in a proper debate. And having, I think the peer-to-peer -peer network has been really helpful, having people from different countries, different walks of life, from civil society, from revenue authorities, from uh, Ministry of Finance, that's been really helpful to get one's different views. We, we, we need to, to, to continue push for this and maybe uh, help civil society organisations, more civil society organisations, not just the group that we have here, uh, learn about this.